Good morning, beautiful Scorpios, uh, family, friends, and crosswashers. Welcome to Bear's Touch Intuitive. We are in for another reading today. It is Tuesday, September 19th. Um, this morning when I was driving to drop off my son, I uh, saw a red tail hawk. It was like diving from the left side of the road like to the lake perhaps but it was so close to my car it was like um like maybe two arms lengths away from me it was so visible so red tail hawk might be speaking to you or coming out as a, an animal symbol um i'd like to work more with the lenormand deck today but first i'm gonna pull a universal truths card um these cards have the like um, courage. The golden dove and like the chalice with the eternal flame in them and they speak to me as like a really like a divine feminine energy that's channeled through the divine masculine on the physical plane. Um, anyway, uh, let's read this courage card. Courage is the thunder of our beings arousing and transforming us. It enables us to tap into an energetic wave with conviction and certainty. We then see each obstacle as an opportunity in disguise. The masters use fear to motivate them rather than paralyze them. They view challenges as a way to manifest a will rather than a wound. Take the risk, don't forfeit potential that is waiting in the wings to be discovered. Bravery leads to the grandeur that was once a dream. Cure in French means heart. Sorry, I don't speak French. Um, if one follows their heart, they will, more often than not, find that their courage is not far behind. We derive strength and power from knowing that if we do not feel fear, we cannot feel brave. Truth be told, the best hearts are forever the bravest. Remember, courage is not blindly overlooking that which is dangerous, but in studying and conquering it. I really love <clears throat> this for our message today. Um... I'm not sure why you might be needing courage, Scorpios, but um, I love that it says, like, you you feel the fear and you still walk into it. You still go through it, um, you know, prepared and after studying it, but it's like you know what you're in for. Um, so we have the King of Clubs reversed which was our card yesterday, one of our cards yesterday. So the King of Clubs, the verse or the clouds means that perhaps you did just since yesterday find some manner of enlightenment about a situation. Um, we had the King and, Cle King and Queen of Clubs in our reading yesterday. So there might be some sort of couple you were dealing with or a pair. You might have been a pair with somebody. Um, and you may have been enlightened or become clear about this situation. The stars, again, um, I am shuffling. <laughs> I don't know why, like, it's because we're reading daily. The energies are just slowly, like, the wheels slowly turning. Um, and you may have taken your clarity from this situation to focus on your dreams, your vision, your future. Maybe the reading yesterday was really um, enlightening for you. Um, or maybe um, you've received some confirmation that has like allowed you to move on from whatever the past situation was. Yeah, enlightenment. Um, 31, you might be 31 years old, you might be 32 years old. Um, you might be seeing 369, um, 366, that's what I'm hearing. Um, hmm. Let's read the sun, because we read the stars in the King of Clubs yesterday. Card 31. Ace of Diamonds. The sun shines over a landscape with a mountain and a body of water near a small village. Success, victory, confident illumination. A letter arriving soon. The news in nature, or news rather, the nature is positive. So as far as this courage goes and the sun and the um, spirit guide of the red tail hawk, red tail hawks are associated with the sun. So red tail hawks and um, great horned owls, they actually inhabit the same environment. And the great horned owl is like the nighttime hunter 
and the red-tailed hawk is the daytime hunter and often they'll even inhabit like the same tree but because they're they're um hunting on opposite sides of the day or night rather they don't see each other or they don't interact but if they do interact they'll um fight one another for competition so the red-tailed hawk is like the divine masculine counterpart to the owl or the moon or the divine feminine and is associated with the sun um it also indicates vision um and fishing so you might be like casting spiritual lines like energetic lines basically for answers and then like attracting them letting them come to you like there's an energy of manifestation from understanding like that magus energy or that magician energy or you can basically throw your energy out there and and let it return with the answers that you're seeking so that's what this sun is it's like your your energetic powers um of discernment and your spiritual like attunement is maybe more than you expected it to be and perhaps that's what this clouds reverse is for you the bear um so the bear i really love the bear i mean i'm called bear is touch intuitive <laughs> um and the bear can indicate uh our like our animal instincts um overcoming our uh or overpowering our rationality or sort of our our better judgment um but it can also indicate like following the flow of our instincts to um the tune of the earth and you know, bears go into hibernation and they like eat a whole lot in the summer and the fall to get ready for hibernation and they don't fully hibernate um at least not anymore i don't know if that's something to do with climate change or just like a recent development for bears but i've heard that they don't actually like hibernate fully um at least not in my area of the u.s um but they are able to like withdraw and go into super hermit mode um and they're also sort of indic indicative of like gluttony or overindulgence at a certain time of year so this is sort of hearkening to a bit of the end of the yesterday's reading where it's talking about like knowing that there's different aspects of yourself and different times to reveal those aspects or to let those aspects take over um and having discernment about when and where to like summon these parts of yourself so the bear is the ten of clubs um clubs are an important um suit in the last couple of days a brown bear stands on a path in a hilled area. The keywords are strength, power, protection, and authority. In the playing cards, it is fortune, success, and its nature is neutral. That's really lovely. That's really awesome. All right, we're going to clarify with the tarot. Thank you, Lenormand well, Deck. Thank you for bearing with me as we um, read through the foundational meanings here. I actually am being drawn to pull one oracle card from the dreams of Gaia um, oracle I'm being drawn to point out the six of hearts, 16 and six here. Six, six, six might be something that you're seeing. It's not as far as I can understand it. Actually, like the number of the beast or the devil. Um, it's just sort of a common misconception. The self-reverse. So some element of selflessness has occurred here for you um like you've you've i think embraced a sort of understanding of your own selflessness in this situation with this clouds reversed um whatever was affecting your peace in the past maybe coming in to do so again and you have strength and the power and the intuition um this is the owl counteracting that hawk 
by the way, um, and the rationality to understand um, how to apply selflessness in a way that doesn't bring you out of alignment. So perhaps in the past you've been um, uh, selfless in your endeavors or found that trying to overgive or of yourself and your energy um, to like keep yourself in a relationship with others um, or rela like certain relationships, like basically wanting things to be a certain way instead of sort of flowing with them and overgiving of yourself to a situation to, to help like maintain that, that cycle has ended for you or is ending for you. And you're coming into alignment in this sort of joyful, like youthful male energy um, or aspect of yourself, regardless of whether you're male or female, you're coming into alignment by sort of subduing these super extra divine feminine um, potentials within yourself. The bear is also indicative of the divine feminine, hearkening to Ursa Major and the constellation um, of, I think Athena is associated with, or Artemis. I think it's Artemis is associated with um, Ursa Major. If you know, please let me know in the comments. Um, anyway, you're coming into alignment and being able to overcome this, like, I, I want to say, like, there was a snake here yesterday in the Lenormand, the Queen of Clubs. She's a snake. I want to say, like, your divine, feminine, intuitive, very spiritual self can become, like, overbearing sometimes. Like, you can maybe tune in too much to those flow energies and it can kind of run away from you. So with the sun coming out here and the idea of the red tail hawk and this alignment card, um, the eight of water in this deck with the dolphins on either side with like this joy on top of these intuitive women, um, and the self card 14, um, you're like learning to have more joy and not take things as seriously. And that's actually helping you flow with these synchronicities more. Um, I know like when I first had a Kundalini awakening, I was um, like 24 or 25 and it was really intense. And, and I felt like this spiritual gift is something I have to do something with or like this attunement that I have with like spirit right now is something I have to like, you know, write about or express or follow. And, and it's like everything, every moment really is a, is a gift, is a spiritual gift. It's, it's, a, it's a gift that we have to be here if you can find yourself looking at it that way. And that's what this eight of water card indicates is that you're you're starting to discover that it's not as serious as all that, or you're starting to allow yourself to feel that your hopes, dreams, and visions can come to fruition and that they're doing so the, the less seriously you like take things. Like the, like the more you can embrace joy, essentially, the, um, the stronger you are in your convictions, in your um, ability to give of yourself to others without feeling drained or grumpy or um, tired. And it's not like you're shutting out yourself or your intuition, but like it, approaching this flow state from a, oh, what, am, what am I hearing here? basically like you're approaching this flow state from a place of understanding that like tw uh, 22 is here everywhere you are is where you're supposed to be and so if something is like feels like it's taking you out of yourself you see that it's actually taking you away from yourself to bring you back closer to like some part of you maybe that has been forgotten or to open you more fully to some part of you that it, you're rejecting. Um, and also that giving of yourself to others is, 
is giving back to yourself and it's not it's not like you're giving of yourself to others in order to get back it's more like you're seeing the one in in the all and it's it's bringing you joy and happiness and it's like a lot less serious and like um black and white is what i'm hearing a lot less serious and heavy than than you expected it to be all right let's clarify this reading for scorpios today what are you trying to say to us spirit i am feeling the need to request protection over this reading today no weapon formed against me shall prosper including sleep sleeplessness so you may be dealing with sleeplessness over this situation um it's nine of swords <sighs> why is this nine of swords here on this cloudy cloud cloud that's been reversed Hmm. You're um, resisting, or in the past you were resisting a new emotional beginning. We have a dove reversed here and the self reversed here with these three doves on top. So you may also be like, your dreams may be telling you something and because our dreams can circumvent the blockages in our consciousness like our conscious mind as we're waking um you may not want to hear what your dreams are having to tell you about a connection your ability to manifest a restless mind how you wield your thoughts um You may have been very um, ruthless with yourself in the past um, in order to get these tools of the magician, these magician's tools that are putting you in this state of like enlightenment and um, mental stability is what this is telling me. you feel restless about how you treated your self and maybe you went looking for a new emotional beginning to like avoid yourself and like that is sort of coming to light or playing a role in your sleepless restlessness i'm also hearing that um Avoiding screens before you go to sleep is like, it's kind of like rule number one if you want to get good rest, right? Um, but it's like you're afraid, you're afraid of like looking at this new emotional beginning because the past, even though it was like uncomfortable, is the place of comfort for you because you're so used to being there. Um, but you're being called to start a new tradition for yourself by being gentle with yourself, embracing your inner child, embracing your um, magician's tools. Um, he has the snake around his waist, that kundalini snake. Um, and by being restful in your thoughts, Huh. It's like once you finally manage to rest your mind and like lay down these worries, you're laying on like your golden opportunity. It's right underneath you. You're already in this um, Six of Cups. Um, 
magician energy. Comfort, stability, um, inner child, divine, masculine, feminine, also like tradition and the occult, like, um, sorry, my dog, I need to go close this door really quickly. Hold on. Um, it's like once you finally lay down your worries and welcome in this new emotional beginning, um, you'll establish this, this tradition or traditional relationship is what I'm hearing that you might be looking for, um, or just a sense of like community or belonging, and you'll have the, all the tools you need to manifest. And this golden opportunity is like literally right underneath you, perhaps even when you sleep, maybe it is regarding your dreams. Um, this page of swords uh, indicates somebody looking back over their past in this position here um, and in the context of this reading over this cloudiness or like this clouded judgment and wielding the sort of truth, um, learning to listen to spirits messages and um, his hair is like blowing in the wind behind him. And I'm hearing like hair is indicative of power um, in uh, native cultures, some native cultures, uh, people will cut their hair when they're grieving um, because hair is like, it connects us to, it's our power, but it also connects us in a way like to the dead because it's, it's growing out of our living body, but it is like technically dead. Um, there's like this connection to the past and to those who have passed. So um, I know in my own life, like when I've been through some ego deaths, um, I, I'll like cut my hair as a means of like embracing a new identity. Um, so you might, I don't know, be looking to replace, I, hope, I don't know why the word replace came up, <laughs> replace your hair. Um, I don't know if you have like, um, like a wig or an, or implants or something um this is telling me that you're this is a strange specific message to come through but your hair is um while it's your power like it's it's not all that your identity is that's so strange um knight of wands reverse there's something about undoing vanity here um in the past like you worked really hard to come to this new emotional beginning and it's right here for you but there's something about the way that you see yourself that's being um blocked or blocking it this is what's keeping you up at night Hmm. I'm going to pull one more card for what's keeping you up at night, and then we'll move on. I think this is going to be a long reading today. Seven of Cups, Choices, and Illusions. <sighs> okay. So, I believe the Temperance Angel is underneath this cup in the middle. Um, but you have, like, the Victory Wreath. Um, jewels and riches, you have the tower or castle made of sand, um, knowledge, but it's like, like illusion, um, you can see through it. There's the snake, which is our energy kundalini, but it's also like the opposite of like the godhead, right? And then you have this dragon, which means power, um, and all these clouds and cups, and, th and then you have this person who's like literally in shadow. Um, so you have all of these options. This victory wreath is on top of a skull also. So there is definitely something here about a major ego death by looking into your shadow. Um, again, this is in the past. So 
I think you're learning to have less harsh judgments about yourself and see yourself as human. <laughs> like, um, also the person you were dealing with in the past is clouded vision. They were maybe, um, looking for an, a new emotional beginning as well. Um, this Knight of Wands tells me that they are a younger, less mature energy than you, although maybe showing up in a similar playful, joyful, like youthful masculine light, they're more of fire and like a little bit more flighty and not as steady, whereas this person is showing up aligned um, in the element of water with not only all of their seven chakras aligned, but their seventh or their eighth and ninth chakras on the hands open as well. So however you were being viewed, perhaps as this person or whoever you were dealing with who was this person, um, they wanted this anyways, but they haven't done the shadow work to be able to see and you have, and it's brought you, um, un or uh, disease is coming through, dis-ease maybe, um, but you have the tools to embrace a new tradition, manifest a new journey for you, and it's literally connected to your ability to rest your mind, um, and to wield your judgments overlooking the past with, with kindness, but also in such a way that you are valuing your own safety, your own health, your own um, contributions. It's like sweeping away the illusions about yourself in the past and others and just learning to really see clearly. The Queen of Cups. She's come out as your energy um, quite a lot lately. Yeah, having just empathy for yourself in the past um, and all things that happened. This is this courage, like facing, okay, we don't want to focus on the past anymore, although it seems like that's really where the energy is really heavy. Like there's definitely past energy like holding you back like a chain, like, like, like trying to sink you under is what I'm feeling like. This is really, really heavy, heavy chain energy. So how can we move on into this like enlightenment, this strength, this vision of the future for Scorpios? Um, definitely having compassion, but like that's easier said than done, right? Oh, how do we have compassion? The devil reversed. Um, you may be letting go of some toxic habits, patterns, um, this fiery nature is coming out. You may be letting go of a person who Ooh, yeah, the Hierophant represents the devil to you. Um, they just want to throw all these cards out at me. Spirit wants to throw all these cards out. Um, Six of Wands, Three of Wands reverse, and the Knight of Swords. Um, I guess we'll take those. And the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, I'm going to stop here. It's just throwing cards out at me. Okay, um, that is so crazy. Somebody treated you unjustly. That's this one. Um, they want things to be fair, but they're also used to like breadcrumbing you. Um, we had the Six of Pentacles show up. You're gonna get a message that's going to show you that you've won this battle um, with the Seven of Wands under the Six of Wands and then the Seven of Wands. King of Pentacles is um, you envisioning yourself in this King of Pentacles. Yesterday, this King of Pentacles showed up as these people and what they wanted, um, or this person and what they wanted. And whatever you went through with them, maybe they, um, this is them. Maybe they cheated on you. Um, maybe they tried to engage in some kind of business dealing or like, I'm really like with the wands, all the wands here and the devil, it's like they were really hoping um, to be able to get away with what it was they were doing. And I don't know why all this energy wants to come out in the past. Like, we're trying to move on. Like, they don't want you to move on. There's this <laughs> devil with the Knight of Swords reversed here. Like, they want to have a word. The last word. <laughs> 
oh my gosh, like we don't care anymore <laughs> about this. Um, the five, the Hierophant, um, the Hierophant is you being the intercessor, like able to divine spiritual knowledge. Um, you may pray in this like, this mudra, um, I don't know what it's called, but this is like on the the Hierophant card. It's got the scepter of power here. Whew. I'm hearing like electric energy that you might be dealing with. And there's like um, red all over the left hand. This also is like a, a him or her. It's somebody who's androgynous. So maybe you've been overly identified with like male or female energy in yourself and you're learning to embrace this male energy um maybe you're like a female who went through some really tough stuff or female energy feminine energy who went through some really tough stuff like as far as having to deal with just you know the unfairness of a patriarchal society <laughs> and you're learning to like lay this thought process to rest um stepping into your like letting your divine masculine um, have his place in your world, um, whether that be an actual person in your life or what I'm hearing is like your inner child, some version of yourself that was rejected. Um, this Knight of Swords may also be somebody wanting to come in thinking that they're like saving you or wanting you to feel like you're being saved. They're waiting for, like, their ships to come in regarding something. Um, but what I'm seeing is that they're looking out at a desert um, and not at the ocean with the ships in it. They're seeing their ships stranded, basically, and wanting to come in to make you feel like you need to be saved. But you're in this King of Pentacles energy, and this is what you're becoming enlightened to. You're in this Ace of Pentacles energy. Um, oh, goodness. Whoever this person is that you're dealing with is just like, or these people, even if it's just some version of yourself, is it's like, like you're so over it, it's so over it, like you can't even, yeah, ten of swords reversed. Oh man, this person really feels betrayed, and like you're, that's why you're having sleepless nights about it. Is like you understand and you, and you get that there's guilt. Why I don't, we don't. I don't know why this keeps coming out. But it's for the past, for the past, for the past. Like, we're moving on. It, there, it's a money block. That's what it is. Of course. King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. You're caught up in your emotional and mental energy. Even though you're in this magician, rested mind, Six of Pentacles, or Six of Cups, rather. Because... You have a money block. You don't think that you're um, able to be financially abundant because of things that happened in the past. This is also this person's devil. And this is part of why they want to come and save you or pretend to save you. It's like this was the illusion they were keeping you in that has kept you up all these sleepless nights. Oh, okay, man, that was like, woo, really hard to get to. That's the illusion of this Seven of Cups is like, you feel like you have to choose one. You can have it all. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Thank goodness. I'm so glad we've moved on. I'm moving this King of Clubs off this board right now. <laughs> insane okay the hierophant the king of pentacles the ace of pentacles okay so you're <laughs> able now to embrace this responsibility for yourself for your own life for your divine union um the divine union of your masculine and feminine the divine union with somebody else like a, a marriage or a partnership that you um deserve and that's better than you thought it was going to be ever. And um, so what I love about this Hierophant is there's this red box with these keys on it. And in churches, in like medieval churches, um, that's where they would keep 
like relics, um, like holy relics or riches. And um, I only know about this because of all the Viking shows I've watched. <laughs> I'm like in this mood today. This is this is the energy I'm channeling. Whoever's energy this is, it's really great. I'm so happy for you <laughs> for moving on from that heavy stuff in the past. Um, anyway, so there's these relics and riches underneath this spiritual throne, basically. This it, intercessor's throne so you might actually be stepping into a place where you're channeling messages for people from the divine um, you might be a tarot reader you might be um, a meditation leader or um, some kind of teacher in the esoteric um, and this is bringing you balance stability um, a sort of carefree like power seat of power, especially as it relates to your money, your finances, your security, um, and your, I want to say like you're in a place of natural abundance. Um, the worries about where it is you're going to live, what it is you're going to do, how it is you're going to make ends meet, those are fully like, they're not just behind you, they are um, so naturally in the backdrop of your life that like you, it's like you just know they're going to be there. And it's it's not like you're taking it for granted because you've obviously been in a place in the past where you didn't have enough or you felt this illusion of lack and you're just learning to embrace now. Like, the universe has my back and the universe can manifest anything. Like, everything I have or everything I need or want, I already have. And that's just like you're just naturally here now. This is this is what you're being enlightened to. Um, this is your dreams and visions coming to fruition. And actually this new beginning is gonna require strength from you. Um, not only because this bear is looking backwards through the reading, not only because of what you've been through and maybe you're feeling like, I didn't have to go through all that. Or why didn't I see this sooner? Or why did I have to go through all that in order to like, come to this place of financial security like or um, material stability like why did it, it take that long but it's because your security and stability are based on having done um the work in all realms and the spiritual realm is not a place to like dibble dabble for the faint of heart it really like it can bring you into some really dark places and as scorpios like i'm really um I want to say, like, just impressed by the depths that, especially I think this collective that I'm reading for has gone to, to, like, discover the truth. There's, I think, a really um, desperate need to find what is true, capital T, true in the world, um, and to undo the illusions of, like, the sort of... Um, What is the word I'm looking for? Parceled out, like what's been parceled out to us, um, especially regarding like land. Um, that's what I'm hearing, land, like our relationship with the land. It's been, land has been like taken, cordoned off and parceled back out. Um, you might be native. You, yeah, you might be native. Um, and you're realizing nobody can take this sovereignty from you and maybe you're learning to speak about um, spirit in such a way that reveals the kind of, I mean, I wouldn't say silly illusion, although that is what's coming through is like sort of a silliness, but like the illusion that we should be able to parcel up a piece of land that is our giant earth and like give it to somebody to mismanage um because the land is all we have here together as a species like without managing it well um we'll uh we'll all struggle i'm also hearing a message about like what happened in hawaii um some people there's a theory that 
because that fire in Lahaina was so poorly managed or reacted to that it was um, a case of like arson to benefit Again, I don't know. I, I I don't know. I'm not a journalist. I'm not a researcher. I'm not there. I have no idea. But um, there is an idea out there that this this was done purposefully because the the native people of Lahaina um, who um, were living there would not be able to afford to rebuild, and since they can't afford to rebuild. Um, investors or real estate investors um would have an opportunity then to swoop in and like save them from their the illusion of their poverty which is literally like induced right by if if it is a case of arson it's induced and so i'm really hearing this message right now about um induced poverty being an illusion of a system that's not working anymore um at least not to not to care for our land and not to um, care for our people and being able to go out and find those resources um, in direct connection with the land is actually something that we can't really do anymore because our soil is so like infiltrated um, with um, like residual pharmaceuticals or um, Actually, I was just reading about this residual pharmaceuticals from human waste that get like, like from sludge, for example, that get like um, filtered out of water in water treatment plants and then used for, um, my goodness, fertilizer. That stuff gets put back into our soil and like, we just don't even know what to do with it, even though there's an illusion that we do. So the collective I'm reading for the whole point, I guess, is that you're so determined to get the capital T truth of what's going on that it was actually like really difficult to face. Um, and it kind of rocked your world because you realize like no one person can fix like what has occurred for us and how we have gotten here as like a collective and no one person or, or people can be blamed. Um, and the whole, like, sort of catapulting, like, momentum of this, um, civilization as it goes through time and space is, like, it's so mind-blowing, um, that we've gotten to where we are and that we're going still and we just don't even know what, <laughs> what we're doing. And that's, I think, what this joyful like youthful masculine is is like instead of trying to like stop the wheel you're learning to flow in it but from a place of like mastery over these darker shadows of the way we live and understanding that there's nothing you can do to like stop it and in fact the best way to go about trying to like create any sort of resistance there is is not to resist it's to be in a place of mastery it's to be like self-fulfilled it's to be um aligned and like this whole crap all of this shit you went through to find this major truth only to discover that taking care of yourself is the best way <laughs> to, to demonstrate like like how to oppose this um these tyrannical forces it's it's silly it's it's like you feel like it's silly and that's a really big um specific message coming through for somebody um all right Ooh. <laughs> slowly but surely you're coming into a place of being able to celebrate with your people your community um you are finding your way with the triple face goddess of um, maiden, mother, and crone. 
Um, you've made your way through the cycle of the maiden, mother, and crone, the, the great horned owl's cycle of hunting at night so that you can come to your um, red-tailed hawks like perspective in the sun. <laughs> and there's a part of you that feels like like silly because this cycle has, en has ended. Silly just keeps coming through. Like you just, there was so much seriousness about this, all this shadow stuff and so much like, oh my God, I can't even believe this is all happening. And, and you've just, you've come to terms with it. That's all I can, you, I keep hearing you've come to terms with it. And this is actually putting you in this place of like, all that happened and I'm still here. Like all of that stuff is going on in the background of this world and we're still here. Like we're still on the earth. It's still operating. And the only way for me to do anything about it is to like, yeah, plant my own seeds, plant my own tree, you know, become a billionaire and invest in green energy. I don't know, but whatever you're doing, it's like you've realized that self-fulfillment is, is your best option. All right. So have courage. You can do it. Nine of pentacles reversed. Ten of cups reversed. Huh. Whatever this energy is of like somebody trying to take these things from you, like it's an illusion. Um, you've, I'm also seeing that you've like won the battle over the parts of you that would like, wow, this is strange. Um, we have an eight and nine of pentacles. like this man and this woman, right? And then this 10 of cups here. You might be seeing eight, nine, 10 um, as well, like a series and ending of completion, especially related to your finances, right? Um, it's like you're realizing this cloudiness back here is like you realizing you've done the work. Um, there's more work to do but it'll require you sort of like having balance within yourself, listening to the messages of the divine and then applying them in your life. Um, and it's like in trying to find and uncover this major truth and all these shadow aspects, you're kind of realizing you were doing this um, instead of this. And maybe you undid your own 10 of cups at one point of the new journey. I was going to end this reading out. And the Ace of Cups, again, reversed. With the sun, again. I was going to end this reading out, but Spirit's got stuff to say today. Um, lots to say, I guess. So um, we're just going to clarify a bit more. This Five of Swords guy... Maybe you didn't follow your intuition regarding a situation. <sighs> regarding a situation that you walked away from. That's what's keeping you up at night. You feel like you need to fight for this enlightenment still, or you enjoy the fight for this enlightenment. Like, there's a part of your mind that's stimulated by it, but it's a cruel um, trick that your ego is playing on you, and you are being asked to view your... Um, so what I'm seeing here right now that I'm, I've pulled these cards with this rest reversed, page of wands reversed, and this five of wands, and this five of swords, um, on top of these pentacles and the ten of cups reversed, is that you used to believe that you had to work very, very hard in order to, and, like, be very, very intuitive, or, like, be independent and alone, um, in order to have this ten of cups, but, um, what you're finding is that you just really like... <laughs> The, the Knight of Pentacles is on the bottom. You really like the, um, 
back and forth. Like the, the drama of like thinking you can't have enough. It's like you're tricking yourself into feeling drama by telling yourself you can't have enough when you can. And like you've just been playing this, it's like you've been playing this cruel like mind game with yourself or you were in, and even maybe because you were doing this, you attracted a relationship where somebody was playing a similar mind game with you, which is why that person wanted to come in and save you from yourself or whatever. Like you've been playing games with yourself about what you're capable of because it like made it more interesting. Um, but you're seeing now that like this is not um, anything you want anything to, you don't want anything to do with this game anymore. So we have five, 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 three, four, five, um, literally one through 10, like you, you're, the way you come to the realization of this cycle brings um, such fast realizations for you and such quick movement into this Ace of Pentacles that you go from this Knight of Pentacles straight to the King and the Ace, just like boom, 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 boom. Like, and with all these consecutive numbers, it's almost like the cards are already laid out and you, you see them like unfurl, basically like a red carpet. You're just like, whoa. Um, this new beginning is already here and this emotional, new emotional beginning, like I've already established the foundations of it. I'm already here. I'm already here. I'm already here. And so you're learning how to, um, manifest from this. And it's, it's not even like you're learning how to manifest from this. It's like you are in that energy. You're emotionally in that energy already. This emotional line alignment, um, reveals to you the abundance that you're in and it's everywhere and it's like I'm hearing it's like this bear coming out of the cave like the bear comes out of the cave in the spring and if it had come out during the winter there wouldn't have been anything for it to eat right so like this is all about divine timing as well um you weren't primed yet like spiritually or physically or like aligned yet with seeing this abundance. You had to go through all of that uncovering of the capital T truth, the shadow, blah, 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 to be able to appreciate what's right in front of your face. It's almost like when you, um, it's almost like, like when somebody comes out of jail or prison and they've been in a cell for a long time and then the, like you just appreciate the very simple act of like walking down the street. It's like, like you had to go through this restriction and these mind games that you were playing with yourself about like not being able to have abundance to be able to appreciate the major abundance that's here for you. Ooh, okay. Spirit had a lot to say today. <laughs> that's a long reading. And it was like really specific. Um, if this resonated with you, please remember to comment, like, share, subscribe my channel growing um i really appreciate y'all who have been here oh and i would really um love to hear from you if you want to book a personal reading um they can be booked on my etsy linked in the description box below i've also put a new option for live readings there um so if you want to schedule a live reading with me you can pay for a live reading and we can schedule it um Anything else, you can donate on my Patreon if that pleases you, and that's it. Yeah, thank you so much. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Um, I love reading for you, and I am so looking forward to seeing how this unfurls for you. Um, I will see you all tomorrow.